want to get in the video today? Yeah. So we started off the new year. We just got back from the Bahamas on a 11-day uh, adventure over to South Bimini. Did some underwater research, and we're gonna go in and take a look at our soft coral aquarium. It's been now running somewhere near around eight weeks. You see our stony coral reef is doing fantastic, growing in really nice. And the intent in putting this aquarium in was to have that ability to have soft corals for clients also to aquaculture species of soft corals in here and harvest those out and grow those in the labs. But it's doing really well. We have a whole set of nice small fish. We have some clowns from, uh, I believe, ORA or Pro Aquatics in there, all aquaculture. We have a six pack of uh, Scomopinus antheus that we received from AM Aquatics. Naso Tang right there, I think that's Australian. There is a Tomanensis Tang in the aquarium. And as it's going, the chemistry is doing really well with the dosing, right? So we have the, the dose system here with buffer, calcium, mag. Looks like that was clean in the last couple of days. The chemistry is doing very stable on the whole aquarium. There's a bounce mushroom here, some more zoanthids, some more mushrooms, more zoanthids, a really nice Florida Keys gorgonium right there up in the front top. It really gives us some height and depth and you can tell it's super happy with all the polyps extended in the mount of current that waves around. There's two MP60s on the back end of this aquarium and then these surface returns too. So you can see the MP60s in their cages kind of hidden behind the edge of it. So part of the maintenance is actually cleaning the Chemipure sign. You gotta clean the sign once a week. And we're gonna add snails today. So we really don't have many. There might be a couple blue legs and typically you're not gonna add the snails until the time that you have enough algae growth to support the health of the snails. You want them to have plenty of stuff to eat, but really the aquarium is you know, gaining biologically, but there's not a lot of coralline algae. And some of the rock that we put in has coralline algae on it, but we really haven't inoculated the aquarium yet with it. So in the back, we have all the aquaculture systems with lots of coralline algae. Alex just scraped some off. There's a bunch on the bottom, a bunch in the water, and we're now gonna put some in. I'm gonna kind of put some right on top of the rocks and put some um, on both islands. You can see the pieces falling down on right on top of the island, and that'll really help in quick fashion, literally in the next couple of weeks, start inoculating the overall aquarium with coralline algae. You'll start seeing more growing on the aqua roach, the marco rocks, and um, yeah, it should really jumpstart. So the goal with the aquarium, really over the next six months, is get lots of coralline algae growing, keep putting more soft corals in on an every other week basis, and um, get it to become a really spectacular, thriving, soft coral reef. It'll be a really nice thing, right, Ollie? Isn't this nice out here in the sunshine? Good for you. Let me see if you like the sunglasses. These are really cool for when you look in the reef again. Whoa. So today, we're gonna be adding inverts and corals to the soft display system. So luckily, we just got a shipment of brittle stars. Look how cute they are. So right here, we just bagged our two brittle stars. We have Astrea snails. Then we got our blue leg hermits. Of course, we can't have to have fish. We got two yellow chorus wrasses. We've had them for a while, so we know they're absolutely healthy. They don't have parasites. So we know they're safe to go into the system.
just like that, we got everybody in their brand new home. So we've added in some astrea snails, some green hermits, uh, which is the emerald crabs, some starfish, some brittle stars. Into the aquarium and the three course rafts really are gonna do a great job helping to clean the aquarium and keep the biology in a positive direction to make this aquarium really spectacular over the next six months. It's gonna be really great. So remember to like, subscribe, send us your questions, and we'll see you next week.